right now you can catch uh, the new Broadway musical, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's, uh, it's happening at Seattle's Paramount Theater. You really should. I checked it out yesterday. It is a heck of a lot of fun. This morning, Amanda Rose is here with us, and she plays Mrs. Bucket, Charlie's mom. Uh, with us this morning. Um, so for those that may not be familiar or maybe have been under a rock for a very <laughs> long time, uh, kind of um, give us the, the gist of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a little different twist. Uh, I mean, it's very roll doll, but it's, it, it has some new sort of nuances to it. Yeah, so uh, basically, Charlie is about a little boy. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is about a little boy who loves to make chocolate. He loves candy and chocolate, and uh, he wins a trip to go to this famous, mysterious chocolate factory, and all kinds of adventures ensue. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I would <laughs> say so. Um, it's gotta be fun to be part of such an iconic story, too, right? Oh, it's so much fun. It's um, because so many people know the story, they know the books or the movies, um, they come expecting one or the other, and we give them sort of a combination of all three. There's two different movies and one book, and, um, and it's fun for everyone, even if they have not seen anything or heard anything about Charlie, it's fun. And if they have seen one of those or read the book, they still get a surprise because we've added some uh, extra twists in there. Yeah, yes, you have. And um, <laughs> it's interesting, too, because there were a lot of kids that, that were at the show yesterday afternoon. Maybe it was because it was a matinee. But, I mean, for them, it's it, a lot of it may be brand new. To yeah, them, yeah. Know? And so they're seeing this for the, for the very first time. And it really sort of captures the imagination. You guys have a lot of fun with it. And you've made some, some interesting twists on some of the characters that I certainly didn't see coming. And some of the, the, the plot points. That oh, yeah. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're happy with the... the mix of uh, sort of all the stories that you know but also putting our own little flavor into it because it is a brand new musical and version. charlie that that kid how old is he oh uh, um we have three different children playing okay. charlie and they rotate um they're all around 10 to 12 and um they're all amazing kids and they yeah. are they're just little pros and they have so much fun on stage and it's so much fun for me to work with all three of them they um they rotate through the show so that they don't get tired you know oh, and, um, I, and it's a demanding role that that's what really struck me you know oh, yeah. willy wonka and charlie i mean th there's a lot being asked yeah of those they characters carry the, the whole show they're on stage the whole time it's you know it's a long time for anyone an adult uh, to handle that too it's hard so it's amazing to be with them on stage okay. Okay, I have to ask you, um, from the film versions, mm -hmm. the Johnny Depp version or the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka? Oh, <laughs> I'm a Gene Wilder just because that's what I grew up with. That's what I saw first. But um, the Johnny Depp one is pretty fun, too. Interesting choices. Ah. That's right. Um, <laughs> will you recognize all the songs? Yes. Um, uh, well, so there are new songs that were written just for this musical, and then there are the iconic songs from the Gene Wilder right. movie, like Candyman, Pure Imagination, the Oompa Loompas. And you're on stage with the grandparents, and all four of them are in the bed <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. In the, the same whole time. bed. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a tough gig. <laughs> it's that tough. That is a tough gig. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, we we gotta find a mattress for the other grandparents I or something, know, right? Right. You'd think by now, maybe <laughs> I don't know. I told one of them to just sleep in the bathtub, but <laughs> that could be that's, that, I don't that'd know. be a good option. <laughs> Um, okay, so in this in this show, we're, we're seeing some of these great images from mm -hmm. the show. I mean, um, a giant blueberry <laughs> forms before our eyes. Yeah. Um, Mike TV ends up in TV. Um, we have the Oompa Loompas, which are done in, in a wonderfully creative way. Mm -hmm. um, the special effects are really striking. It's got to be kind of cool to be, you know, in the middle of that and kind of behind the curtain. Of that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm not, um, I don't go to the chocolate factory with Charlie. Right. So I got to watch that process unfold during rehearsals. And that was so amazing because I was not uh, inside the special effects. I got to watch them from the outside. And they're magical. They're incredible. The Oompa Loompas especially are just so, it's so perfect and creative and beautiful the way they put those on stage and come to life before your eyes. And I know you guys are on tour for a while, but it looks like you guys are having a heck of a lot of fun. Oh, we're having so much fun. Yeah. We love touring. We love coming to these new cities. We've been here for a few days now already. We've done a harbor cruise and we have plans for lots of sushi, lots of salmon. Oh, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> yes. Know? Get in on that oh, for yeah. sure. Thank Can't you wait. so much. It was great to, yeah, great to you meet too. you. Thank and you so And Charlie much. and the Chocolate Factory runs through August 11th at Seattle's Paramount Theater. For tickets, you can go to stgpresents.org.